This is Super Future Director showing you how to make a mortar bomb prop, and this is what you'll need. One main reference picture of a mortar. About 35 to 40 uh, inches PVC pipe. 16 by 11 inches plywood. 15 and a half inch PVC pipe. 4 and a half to 5 inch PVC pipe. About a one and a half inch PVC connector. Not exactly sure what this is, but it looks to me to be a fence brace. I'm sure you could find one at your local hardware store. About a 29 and a half to 30 inch metal pipe. A hacksaw. Any spare parts you can find laying around. Hot glue gun. Any kind of strong tape, like duct tape. Any other small parts around your house. An exacto knife or any other sharp object. An old umbrella or any type of spring system that you could find. An old printer lid or any other type of 3D thing representing this. Any old tailgate ball or anything representing or close to this. Any old nuts or bolts that you can find around the house. Some green and black spray paint. A really big drill. Two wrenches. Once you have everything together, take your 37 and a half mortar pipe and mark around where you're gonna put your fence brace. I did 12 and a half inches. Next, take your fence brace and slide it over the mortar pipe to see uh, if it fits and how it looks and then make your final decision. Then when you made your final decision, set it aside and take your uh, metal pipe and mark where you're going to cut it around um, 29.5 to 30 inches and then start cutting it with the hacksaw. When you finish cutting it, take the spare part, set it aside and take your 29 and a half inch to 30 inch uh, metal pipe and uh, do the same for the other one. When you have both of the 29 and a half inch to 30 inch uh, metal pipes ready, then you're going to want to take both of them and uh, fit them on the uh, fence brace and see how you're going to put them on there and attach them. And then just test it out and see what works best. Then take a smaller PVC that can fit inside the mortar PVC and the tailgate ball. And get your hot glue gun ready and uh, get your mortar pipe and hot glue the fence brace to the line that you marked on the mortar pipe. Then once that's dry, you take your tailgate ball and fit it into the smaller PVC that's going to fit into the mortar pipe. And then once you know it fits, then start hot gluing around it and then hot glue it to the smaller PVC that will fit inside the mortar PVC. Once that dries, put it inside and see how it fits. And then once you've marked where you're going to put it, then hot glue that in too. And be sure to get all the excess glue off the edges so it doesn't stick out and, and look unrealistic when you finish it. And then if any parts are uh, coming out done like that, then just put some more glue in there and let it dry. Once all of that dries, uh, take your tape and then start wrapping it around there and uh, to cover up all the uh, different layers and then to make it smoother and more like a cone shape. And when you have the tape on there, try to smooth out all the edges. Use scissors to cut the tape. And then if you need more tape to smooth, make it smoother, then, uh, then do that as well. And just keep doing that, putting layers until it gets as smooth as you possibly can and get it. Once the tape is done, then take your uh, mortar barrel and take your metal pipes and start adjusting them where you're going to put them and get your nuts and bolts ready. And just keep sorting experimenting with them until you find the right one that fits in the metal pipe. Once you find the right one that fits, then start screwing it in and do the same for the other one and do it until you have both of them uh, prepared and once you have both of them take the uh, mortar barrel and start putting them on and first screw them in all the way and then start attaching them to where you're going to put them then once you have them attached and ready start uh, putting the bolt on to secure it And then do the same for the other leg. And once you have them both secured, take the uh, printer plate and the wooden plate and uh, start marking where you're going to cut them to make them straight edged. And then do the same for the uh, printer lid. Mark where you're going to cut off any edges or anything. 
That's a ruler. After cutting off the unwanted edges, then uh, start using your exacto knife to cut off any scraps that you don't need on them from the cutting. And then just dispose of the edges that you don't need. Then take both of them and start hot gluing the printer plate onto the wooden plate. Now make sure you press hard so it's secure and it stays on, it doesn't fall off. Then start taking some of the giant drill screws and choose which one fits the hole the best. And then drill a hole in the middle of the wooden plate all the way through. Take your exacto knife to cut away and trim at the edges to make them smooth. Start experimenting with different ball bearings to see which one fits best. And then set it up in a small spot and see what works best and start adjusting it to the way you want it. Once you have it adjusted, then take the uh, 15 and a half inch PVC and mark where you're gonna cut it and place it. And then once you have it marked, start cutting it with a hacksaw. Once you have it cut, then uh, place it and see how it fits. And then hot glue it. After you've hot glued it, start taping over around it and over it to secure it better and make it look more realistic and more smooth. After taping it and completing it, then uh, take your wrenches and start tightening up all the bolts. And then start taking all the small parts that you've collected around your house and start hot gluing them on in different places and spots and areas to make it look more like a real mortar and add detail. Then take a hammer and start hammering at the edges of the metal pipes to make it more adjusted to the ground and more diagonal. Then once you have it completed and out of all the details, it should look like this. Or somewhere, something similar to this. And especially when you add the spring thing on the back to make it look more, look more realistic. And then once you have all the details added, then you can start spray painting with the black and green spray paint. First start with the green spray paint and spray paint every single crack and crevice. Once you're almost done spray painting the gun part, then start spray painting the box part that holds it up. Then after it's all dry, all the green spray paint is dry, then start taking your black spray paint and spray paint a little bit over it, but just don't completely spray it black, just spray it like uh, glide it over it to make, give it dark grit and realism. Then when you're done spray painting with the black spray paint, let it all dry, and if you're satisfied, you're done. And once you're done, this is what it'll look like. Here it is. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to build the mortar. And I hope it helps you in your movies and short films. Um, and good luck building it. Here it is. Almost life size. And that's it from Super Future Direction.